what's up everybody welcome back to my channel this is amber J. um i'm coming to you guys tonight um it's in the middle of the night actually and um god had given me a dream about pete davidson it was not a good dream um when i woke up from the dream it's it, it's like i woke up I, like you know like like a nightmare like i just popped up out of my sleep and like you know heart pacing and everything and i could tell this was a warning dream but even without having that happen just the the details of the dream in itself were not good and um i had the dream about a week ago actually and um i was just praying you know praying and you know um i'm going to release it um I don't condone of his relationship with Kim Kardashian for, for number one, it's adultery, of course, and number two, also um, just the nature that in which it was birthed out. But this is not about judgment. I do want to pray for this man, and I have prayed for this man. I have prayed that his, the scales be removed from his eyes, and I pray that he comes um, to repentance for his, his sins and give his life over to the Lord. Now, the reason why I say that is because of this. I'm a single mother, right? And, of course, you know, any single mothers out there, you want to be able to enjoy your next relationship, hopefully your final relationship, and you want that person to love your children, right? Love you and love your children. I mean, just basically just blend in perfectly. So I understand that. But I seen an article where um, he had uh, seemingly tattooed Kim's, um, and Kim's initials and Kim and Kanye West's children's initials on him. Now, let me talk real to the single parents out there. In Hollywood, okay, it gets a pass. But in reality, that's creepy. If you're dating a guy, you're not even married to him. You ain't even been with him over a year. And he tattooed not only your initials, but your children's initials on him. You're going to tell that guy to get up all the way up out your house. Because that's creepy. Right. So I don't believe that that tattooing was a token of endearment or love. I do believe that that was a taunt at Kanye. Now. Which is, you know, like I said, that there was a taunt and it was just utterly disrespectful because and honestly, like I said, in reality, that would be creepy. If a guy if I'm dating a guy and he do that for me and my children, I would not be flattered. I would be like, especially that's not that's not somebody I have helped. I built a relationship with. A real relationship over years. Nah, bro, that's kind of creepy. You got to go, you know, for real. But, um, so I, like, as I said, I do believe that there was a taunt to Kanye West. And let me tell you something about Kanye West. You guys may say, well, you know, what about Kanye West? You know, he's doing all of these erratic behaviors. You know, he, won, he pretended that he was a man of God and, and look at him now. Let me tell you something. The Bible says this. I am married to the backslider. And for anyone that wants to question um, Kanye West's conversion, I would say this. What he did, going back to his Sunday circles, did it honor God or did it honor himself? I would say it honored God. For a man who is just confident, arrogant as Kanye West. His Sunday circles was not about him. It was all about giving God the glory. And I think he did a great job at it. So let's go to the dream. The dream was this. I seen Pete Davidson sliding down like a sled. And it was going really fast. And it caught fire. And I knew what it meant. The dream meant this. It meant that he's headed towards destruction. And let me tell you, that slippery slope that he was going down, it was moving so fast, y'all. It was moving fast, and it was a blaze, and it was just kind of, it was so quick. Like, the dream itself had to be about three seconds long, y'all. I ain't lying. Um, and I just, like I said, I woke up, and it was just like, I woke up like I had a nightmare. And I knew that it was a warning dream. So listen, I don't know if this is going to reach Pete Davidson or not. I pray that it does in the mighty name of Jesus. If not, then I pray, I, I pray that my prayers reach him. You know, um, because, you know, it doesn't matter 
what you did or what you didn't do this if you are here if you are in the land of the living you have the opportunity to repent but anyway let me go to the verse of scripture y'all i want to get into this because immediately when i woke up you know um i I, this scripture came to my mind um and then also you know after just you know looking at the the current news that was going on at the time of you know about what happened because it turned out that the day that you know Kim and uh Pete Davidson like had kissed on Saturday Night Live or something like that was the sa- exact same day that Kanye West had like flew across country to get something that was near and dear to her. So Kanye West wasn't just a man who was like being a hypocrite, like okay, he was all Christian Kanye West. Now look at him now. No, you were dealing with a hurting man. So let's go to the scripture. You know, a hurting man that was being taunted. By Pete Davidson. So let's go to the scripture. And I want to show you the danger in doing so. The Bible says this in 2 Kings verses 23. Excuse me. Chapter 2 verses 23 to 24. Uh, From there, Elisha went up to Bethel. As he was walking along the road, some boys came out of the town and jeered at him. Get out of here, Baldy, they said. Get out of here, Baldy. He turned around, looked at them, and called down a curse on them in the name of the Lord. Then two bears came out of the woods and mauled 42 of the boys. So listen, y'all, what Pete Davidson is doing is very dangerous. Kanye West was a, you know, wasn't as a man that was trying to do something very pivotal, pivotal in hit, uh, Hollywood. He was trying to, you know, um, bring God in and, you know, um, possibly bring over some conversions. And the enemy came up with a plan, a plot. To stop him in his tracks. And how do you mess how do you mess with a man the most? You mess with his family. So Pete Davidson, you're being used by the enemy. I pray that you repent from your sins. I pray that you turn away from this behavior. Because the end thereof is destruction. You you can repent and God loves you.